and thank you for joining me on my latest Trends Talk. I'm Connor Lokar, economist on the team here at ITR. Uh, today we're going to be talking about profit compression uh, as we look at rising costs and companies you know, perhaps lacking strategic plans for raising prices on the backside of the business cycle. Um, you know, this is top of mind for me at the moment. I was actually just discussing this with uh, an OEM client of mine uh, last week, actually. So it's top of mind as we head into the waning months of 2019. Uh, now, it's important to remember that this is a departure from 2017 and 18 when the overwhelming majority of U.S. companies uh, were riding the growth cycle in the U.S. economy. The global economy was up, enjoying robust top line growth driven by both growth in your core business, but also little to no resistance passing through price increases in what was a generally inflationary environment uh, and along the way maintaining healthy margins. Now, the reality is most companies that deal in the world of physical goods are just not going to be able to pass through the same level of price increases to protect their margins during the next several quarters that they may have put in place in 2017 or 2018. Uh, perhaps some of you, perhaps those of you following along with ITR, were lucky enough to pass through some late last year, early this year. Uh, but those of you that have annual price escalators time for later this year, or perhaps coming up again early next year, are in for tougher conversations. Because uh, not only are your customers going to be uh, you know, have heightened price sensitivity at this point in the business cycle and moving forward the next two to three quarters, but you're also really going to be left wanting for justification as far as coming to your customers with fat price increases, uh, particularly for those of you that might be you know, indexing your price increases to a general PPI. When we look at the U.S. producer price index, that's up a thin 0.8% from the same period a year ago. And just unfortunately, a reality uh, of the backside of the business cycle is fading pricing power. So uh, in this case, the, the best offense might be a good defense, or, or to put it differently, the best approach might be at least reducing or controlling the cost side of the equation, uh, as opposed to relying purely on price increases in this point of the business cycle, which are just inherently going to be harder to pass through. Now, some thing, ways we can do that for distributors, we're pivoting towards more of a just-in-time inventory management for finished goods. There's less worry about losing out on business for not having sufficient product on hand as things slow down. You're going to want to lower your carrying costs, lower your waste, enhance your cash flow there. Uh, on the other side of the coin, when we look at OEMs with your raw material uh, orders and purchases, most physical goods or commodities uh, are seeing their prices falling year over year, particularly when we look at you know, primary industrial metals, uh, those prices are falling. So buying as you need at lower volumes will allow you to secure lower and lower costs as we move lower here in the business cycle until later in the cycle will be that time where you want to make that bulk purchase. Uh, and again, you're never going to perfectly time it, but again, much closer to the bottom of the price cycle. Uh, we're also seeing falling fuel costs That's uh, and leveling off freight volumes both internationally but domestically as well, and that's easing pressure on freight rates, uh, which have been rising at uncomfortable levels, uh, particularly in 2017 and 18. So you're gonna wanna look to your shippers and perhaps later in this cycle, lock in contracts at lower costs, lower your shipping costs. Uh, you're also, for everyone, you're gonna wanna generally trim your advertising spend or at least ensure that it's targeted at markets that are growing and that will be receptive and make those dollars well spent. And communicate with your sales team. You're really gonna wanna emphasize your specialized higher margin products and looking away, again, those commoditized products are gonna feel uh, that margin compression as acutely as any part of your business. So really looking at the profitable parts of the business because one of the levers I'm going to want to steer you away from in this cycle, uh, and again, a common lever based on historical periods of macroeconomic decline that companies may go to is you know, typically labor force reductions. I mean, that is one of the, the fastest ways that you can go to control your costs as far as labor force reduction layoffs. But uh, we would actually caution against that in this cycle unless your cash situation truly goes critical. Uh, we expect this to be one of the mildest true macroeconomic dips on rep record and the tight labor situation, just it's not going anywhere. There's there's no silver bullet to be found for this cycle for the foreseeable future and perhaps paying a little extra to carry some of that labor through and maybe some excess capacity through the cycle may pay dividends and save costs in the next growth cycle when we look to the second half of next year in 2021 as far as not having those costly and lengthy job searches and on-ramp time throttling your acceleration come 2021. So, uh, and again, that'll depend on if you forecast your core business and capacity needs in 2020, 2021 to exceed your current levels or your 2018 levels. Um, 
For those of you in the service world, you're wondering, well, what about me? My primary cost is labor, which is still a runaway freight train in many cases. And uh, in those uh, instances, using industry specific wage growth data as justification for your cost increases may be something uh, that you can look through to continue to pass through, those pri pass through those price increases. You're just gonna wanna ensure your marketing message really resonates around the business cycle and around the back side of the business cycle where your needs are changing, your clients needs uh, are changing and pressures make sure that your service is still aligning for them. They can see that value of your service despite their own struggles and, and you can still get those price increases through. So there's a strong mix of cost control shifted internal focus towards profitable parts of the business and you know utilizing market data where possible for justification if you need it. Um, you should be able to uh, again, control your costs, uh, keep your prices and margins healthy, and, and protect them from the assault of the backside of the business cycle. Uh, thanks for checking in. I'm Connor Lokar. <laughs>